Last season, we finished in an incredible eighth place. However, we've got nine players leaving the squad. So today, we are going to be very busy in the transfer window. Let's take stock of the players we currently have and where we need to improve. And these are the players that I am more than happy playing in our team right now as it stands. So we do have gaps in centre mid, right wing and up top. I've also laid out our backup players on the bench in position order. So sub one's the goalkeeper, sub two is right back, sub three is right centre back and so on and so forth. So as you can see, we have got a big gap in midfield. We need to bring in a lot of midfielders in today to play backup and get into our first team. We could also do with extra right wingers. So two right wingers need to bring in and a bit more cover at the back as well would be quite nice. But we're going to start off with a player we already have. And that is Koba. Now we've got a 5.5 million pound optional fee at the end of his loan deal from Valencia and I think we're going to trigger it because he has been superb this past season for us and I cannot find anyone for the same price who's as good as him even for more money I mean this guy's worth 21 million pounds right if we compare him with Koba right now Koba is the far better player so Koba make an offer 5.5 million pounds he hopefully will be the first player we're going to bring into the club I'm also going to take a punt on Aziz Yakubu, a striker with 15 finishing 13 composure 16 pace he looks like he could be very useful attribute wise is better than Brian Moreno when you compare the two of them and does have a history History of scoring more goals than him as well. His contract is finishing at the end of the season, so it's going to be a free transfer. The issue is the wages are going to be quite high, but he's consistent and he loves big matches. And I think this is the sort of player that we need to bring into the club. However, we have to try and get this contract down a little bit and have to get rid of selling percentage fee, 25 grand a week. Let's just do that to start off with, which he doesn't really like. I think we can get him down to that sort of £25,000 mark if we just keep dropping it down. Maybe 26. He wants... Oh, he's gone... 27 and a half? He likes that. Not the cheapest deal possible, but we gave it a go. There's also Arnie Mayer. Now, we spoke about him in yesterday's episode. His contract is coming to an end. And whilst he's not as good as Koba, we do need plenty of midfielders to come in to be backups. And this guy can play in the CDM spot or the centre mid spot. So I think he's a decent option to bring in. If we talk to his agent, he is happy to join the club to play a majority of matches. Can we drop this down to be more like a squad player? And he says yes. So when we go to offer him the contract, he says squad player, suggest the promises, finalise the promise, and I think we just accept what he's going to give us there because I've had a few occasions in the past, I'm not sure it's a bug or not, but when you ask a player to drop down to a squad player and they say yes, you go to the contract negotiation, they offer £20,000 a week, right? You try and bring that down a bit more, they then go crazy and just cancel deals. And I don't want to risk that, so I'm just going to give him what he wants. And then there's also Tommy Doyle of Manchester City. Now, because he's English, he would count as a foreign player, one of the four foreign players were allowed in the team. But he does look good, and again, is quite handy to play in the CDM spot and the midfield spot. Obviously, it is not as good as Koba, but he's very similar in a lot of areas. We are interested in Tommy Doyle. He wants a fairly cheap contract as well, wants to provide competition for places, so that probably suggests more of a squad player. Can you just bring the wage down a bit? He says yes, which is nice. So approach to sign, squad player, then a regular start of an important player. Let's get rid of the important player one and get rid of the role he wants to play. Suggest the promises he's happy with that. And it's a very small contract as well. Can we just go 13 instead? He says, yes, wonderful. Oh, and Cobra's contract as well. Completely forgot about Cobra. Let's start negotiations with him. Star player is fine. Uh, I kind of want to give him what he wants, but 32,000 is quite a lot of money. So let's just go to 27 and a half, get rid of the sell on percentage fee. And he wants 22 and a half. Can we go 27 and a half? 20 seven and a half please Cobra. he says yes i always went down to 25 then but that would have been insulting to him and he would have just backed out there at that point apparently though more clubs are putting contracts in for yakuba which isn't great and more clubs are putting contracts in for tommy doyle so this it could get a little bit tricky and here he is already Cobra very quickly agreed to the contract he will be joining us for next season and so will arnie mayer fantastic that's another good player coming in i just saw a news article about this guy and I don't know if he's actually going to be any good or not, but Gianluca Busio, my word, what a man this man is. Back in the day when we streamed on Twitch, this guy was a legend in the Venezia save. Came second in the Ballon d'Or. Should have won it, really, in my opinion. Luckily, he's got Italian nationality, so won't count as a foreign player by being American. I have no idea how good he actually is, because we've not got a full scout report on him, but for a cheap, cheap price, 
I'd, I'd take a risk. Ask Asian about availability. Uh, he'd want to join us on a big contract, to be fair. We need centre mids, though. We need centre mids. Can you... Uh, he wants to provide competition for places. Can you bring the contract down? He says, yes. Okay, cool. So now we have to just agree a fee with them. And if we say £750,000, that seems reasonable. They want a lot more money than that. Right. Uh, well, can we bring this down to 1.5 and 1.5? £3 million total. They say yes. Now, this is risky, but I have a connection with Busio. I was so close to spending quite a few hundred pounds on a signed shirt from him until I realised how stupid it actually was. Squad player, regular starter, important player. Let's get rid of the important player part and what position he wants to play. And he seems happy with that. The contract itself, we can bring down to, I don't know, let's go six and a half thousand pounds, get rid of the yearly wage rise. And he wants a lot more money now. How about 18 and a half thousand? He wants 20, how about 20,000 then? Busio, come on, it's me. Realise that I will bend to your every will. 22 and a half it is. Now this could be a very high risk move. I say could be, it is a high risk move. We've not scouted them out. I don't know how good he actually is in FM24. But back in FM22 or wherever it was, he was very good. Oh, but Salento in Serie B wants him. No, don't go there. Just come to us. Also, Divine wants to talk uh, about uh, a new contract. No, not at all but I would be happy to sell you. Was okay in his you know, half season in League 2, but was terrible last season. Really, really bad. And the intermediaries reckon they can get between 1.9 and 2.4 million for him. So let's just see what we can get. Angers wants him for 2.1 million. And given that we paid uh, £450,000 for him, that seems reasonable. Can we get to 2.5 million? They say yes to 2.5 million. Oh, and thankfully, Yakubu is set to sign for us. That's the striker that we wanted. So we'll accept that and, and welcome him in. Oh, and so is Tommy Doyle. Welcome, Tommy Doyle. This is working out quite nicely. And if we got Busio, that would be all the centre mids we needed, I think. The board now want me to expand the budget for director of football. I, I don't really like director of football, if I'm honest with you. So can we invest the money in a youth recruitment network? And they actually say yes. I have never seen this work before. So we are having our youth recruitment expanded. Wonderful. So that will definitely help with our youth intakes in the future. Oh my word, it's actually happening. On a limb. Because I just saw his name mentioned. I thought, okay, let's just put a bid in for him. I have no idea how good he actually... We've not got him properly scouted out. He's been playing fairly averagely in Serie B. Although eight assists last season is pretty good. Useful backup to the first team is what we are saying from early indications. You know what? My scouts know nothing. Gianluca is going to be the best player we've got at the club. 100% hands down. And here he is. Send on an intensive language course. Pablo Martinez, welcome him in. Look at this. Ignore the numbers there. That, that doesn't matter. What matters is what's inside. What's in your heart. But if we were going to compare him to Cobra, you know... The main thing is I'm reunited. I I'm reunited with him. So with Busio here, we've got these three centre mids joining as well. So I think we're actually sort of a centre mids now. Uh, and I may have been a bit hasty in that because <laughs> there may well be some better options later down the line, but I've, I've done it now. We've also got our striker coming in as well. So they all join on the 1st of July. That is in a week's time. So we need to bring in another right winger and a couple of defenders. This is just going too well. I'm a bit concerned. We've also just been alerted to this wonder kid called Anan, who's an inside forward on the right-hand side. It's exactly what we need. And the best part about him, wonder kid. Media description, wonder kid, which means he's got very high potential ability. I'm pretty sure it's at least 150 out of 200, which is very good. And he's got a release fee clause of 2.3 million pounds and wants a cheap contract. So can you bring the contract demands down? No, that's fine. I won't be too greedy. Let's just put the bit of 2.3 million pounds down then and see what happens. For the contract then, important player, fine by me. And it's actually a pretty reasonable contract. Can we go to like 15,000 pounds a week instead? And he wants 19, we, cooked, we took some stuff away. 16 and a half, 18, 17, deal. Divine also set to leave the club for 2.5 million pounds. So actually that sale there is going to pay for the incoming new winger. Oh, I forgot about Benjamin, of course. Um, now he's the one player that I was like, we should probably keep Benjamin, but he didn't want to agree to a new contract with us. He's probably better than Busio, I'll be honest. If we are looking at just straight up numbers, uh, he is very different. To, actually, Busio is better. If you just look at defending, that is. Look, I, I think we let Benjamin go. We don't need him now. He he wasn't loyal to us. He didn't want to sign a new contract. I'm all about loyalty. So 
he's gone. Also, our players out on loan are coming back next week, which means we can then send more of them out again. And so Anan is set to sign for us. Wonderful stuff. He will join, I think, immediately, actually. And yes, here he is. Five-star potential. You love to see it. Marcel will welcome into the club. Get that finishing up, composure up, and dribbling and first touch, and a lot of things up, to be fair. But he will be very good. And look at that valuation already. 48 to 56 million. And then all the other players are joining right now as well. Send all signings on intensive language courses. So Koba obviously is going to be starting. Uh, we're going to be having a Nan on the right wing. We're going to have Aziz up top as well. Although you can kind of play striker if needed. And then Tommy Doyle's a deep line playmaker, so he can back up to Belich. And then Busio can be the more advanced of the two midfielders and Maya can be the more Carolero. This just feels like it's going too well. I am concerned. Let's shift our attention to some of our younger players currently in the B team, and we've got to get a few of these guys out on loan, like Bastian. You've got to get out on loan this season. Leading player for the third division, so I think maybe the second division is quite handy. So actually, like Clermont in the second division, right? We could send him there for the season. If we get him to play as a centre-back, not no preferred role or anything like that, end of the season that's fine uh there's i can't say what actual game time he's going to get though and that's concerning to me oh they say he'd be competing for a starting role i want him a i want a guaranteed starting role i'm just going to press a no on this for now transfer uh, how about we offer by the transfer room on loan as a regular starter lock that in let me lock it in because people might want to go for a uh, important player potentially i don't really care about them paying his wages you know may maybe 20 percent but I want him playing football. That's the most important thing. Hey man, you are frustrating because you got four goals for Lugo in Spain last season in 34 games. And as a right winger, I guess that's not too bad to be fair, but you need to improve and you're just not improving. Good enough for the third division. Well, what if we sent you to Red Star in the third division? Because we've got you as an affiliate club, haven't we? Red Star FC would be a star player in their squad. Well, what if we sent him to Clermont? verge of a first team place again that's not good enough we we need him and he guaranteed minutes at a good level and to be fair red star is his level you know that's what they're there for maybe we do send him to red star as a attack midfielder on the right hand side karamoko sankara again you are out on loan in the second division last season one goal in 11 appearances not great really in terms of your reports you're a good player for the third division so maybe we have to send him there instead move to affiliate clermont will have him on the verge of a first team spot if we go to red star he'll be a star player. I think that might suit him slightly better. Bastian, on the other hand, has no offers coming in. He's wanted by teams in the second division. So maybe then we just go transfer or development, move to affiliate Clermont and just send him there as a centre-back. Oh, RB Leipzig are making a £13 million bid that could rise to 16.75 for Gonzalo Estevez. We got on a free transfer. I forgot we got on a free. That's ridiculous and he is very very good so good in fact there aren't many players better especially at that price point like you're available compare you you're a similar sort of price 12 million pounds to gonzalo estevez who's better gonzalo's better i mean this guy right at the top you're, you're the best apparently at 28 years old so you're already a downgrade for the age there gonzalo is the better player in the blue so as much as i really want the money uh you have to pay more money than that and I'm going to reject it, which is annoying because I would like the money to spend on new players. As Sankara rejects Red Star and so does A-Man. Why do they do... It's for the, your best... That's what we're doing it for, your best, okay? Let's loan you out again, unspecified on the wages, just off to clubs, A-Man, and we'll do the same with Sankara. I don't think we can send 15-year-olds out on loan, I don't think. Uh, can we... Offer via transfer room, loan, no. Would violate loan rules, so he's too young. You're 17 years old though, and you've got four and a half stars of potential ability. However, you're fourth division level, which is exactly where St. Etienne 2 play. So I guess it's only these three players here who are worth sending out on loan. They're too good for the division our B team play in, so they have to play higher up to improve. Estevez upset he can't go to buy a Leverkusen. Well, you can't go because the finances weren't right in the deal. And how much do you want to go for? He says 16. We're not going to agree to that. I'm going to say 38. And we're going to fall out about this lad um, quite significantly because they can probably offer 18 million pounds and I don't want to let you go. So now bids are coming in for Sankara. And of course, he'll be happy to go to any of these clubs 
but and they're all in League Duh as well, which is good. So I don't know why he kept saying no to. In fact, League Duh. Oh, because we tried to send them to Red Star in the third division. So maybe actually we were right to not do that, or he was right to reject it. Gangon predicted to come in seventh place, 14 on facilities. Uh, VAFC, 15 on facilities, seventh place. So uh, Gangon were seventh place prediction, so they're winning right now. FCSM, 11th place, 15. And Dunkirk are 16th, 6th, so not them. You know what? I'll say yes to all of these three because they're virtually the same, aren't they? Oh, no, they're not. Squad player FCSM, reject that. Impact player at uh, Gangon, so reject that. VFC, regular starter, that's the only one I want to accept. As for A-Man, he's got bids mostly from the... Oh, uh, they're all fringe player. I'd rather him not be a fringe player. I'm going to reject them all. Transfer, offer via transfer room. I'm going to say loan offer... Regular star to lock it in. Oh, and Bastion has now rejected Clermont as well. Great. This time, Bastion said regular starter for A-Man. Uh, we will say yes to that in the third division. I would, I'd rather he stays in France than goes, well, Spain, second division. Us. Bastion have got 11 on facilities predicted to come third place. Cartagena, 13, 6. I'd rather him play in a team very good in the third division than a rubbish team in the second division. The better match ratings that he gets, the more he will improve, I think. As Sankara is set to leave the club to go to VAFC on loan. Not sure how much more time we give him. We bought him in season one and he's not really done much, has he? This loan spell is make or break for him, really. And literally no one wants to sign Bastion, uh, which is really annoying. And it might mean at this stage, we just bring him into the first team. We can move him to a development list. Is that an add to development list? See if other staff members can get him sent somewhere. So back to the ins, right back, left centre back, right winger. Now we've only got 2.28 million pounds left. So I think we need to look for some loans. I believe we compared Casas to Estevez earlier on. And Estevez is better. I mean, Casas could come in just to be a backup player. I think we compared someone else actually, but... Transfer, make an offer, loan. As long as he pays wages and 88,000 across the city, that seems like quite a lot. And a manager, I, mean, I don't like that. So there is a right back here who's a 30 year old player at Strasbourg. And I think if we put a loan bid in, it's not actually too unreasonable to pay all his wages and a small monthly fee of £63,000. Okay, that would amount to half a million across the season, but it's going to be cheaper than bringing someone else in just for the sake of it, really, isn't it? Suggest that. Let's finalise the offer. Oh, and I should probably actually compare him for you guys so you can see how he is compared to Gonzalo. He's not all that bad. You know, Gonzalo is better in most areas, but not by a huge amount. So if we have to rely on Akim, it's fine. As for a centre-back... Samela Koulibaly at Borussia Dortmund, 21 years old, 1.4 million. Fundamentally is a good centre. If we go to centre-back on defend, fundamentally can mark, tackle and head. Not brilliantly, but he can do it. Add in the ball-playing defender part and he's all right as well. Like he's not going to be anywhere near the level of Jose Massa, right? Although saying that, he's not actually far off at all. So maybe he's worth the punt. Will cost us 1.4 million, but I think it might be worth it, particularly to bring a young French guy in. But he's got more interest in joining Dusseldorf, so hopefully they don't put a bid in. Breakthrough prospect is fine by me. I think we'll just give him the contract that he wants, pretty much, to uh, get him in the... Oh, I shouldn't have... Wage after reaching club games up to 36 grand. That's... I, why... The, oh, Tom, you idiot. Also, Amen's out on loan. I, oh, that's... I can't cancel that now because then he won't ever want to join the club again for two weeks. I thought it was a bonus for clean sheets or something, but I didn't read it. I should have read. We could change the contract offer, right? If we put him on 20 grand now, get rid of those, suggest. Oh, we actually like that. Well, that saves us a lot of money. Yes, we're paying more for his wage now, but, you know, likelihood is he played 15 games quite easily this season. Brentford now making a bid for Estevez. Again, it's not enough money. We're going to reject it. And hold on, Sporting wants him back. Sporting have also put a bid in of six and a half million. When they let him go on a free to us. Not a chance. Reject that. Also, the loan is happening for Akin, which is good. That saves us a bit of money, although... Mm, Two star two, this doesn't look very good. I thought when we compared him to Estevez, yeah, he looks pretty similar. I think two stars a bit harsh there. Koulibaly is here 
and he will play a lot. Thinking back to our squad for a minute though, I think all we need to do now is just find a right winger. Yep, another right winger is the final piece of the jigsaw. However, we have no money in the wage budget and we've got £257,000 to spend on our transfer. So it might have to be a loan. Jacob Brun Larsen, for example, make an offer, loan, it's, um, it's, it's too expensive. We just need someone cheap and that can play as an inside forward and you can't. So this right winger issue might take a little bit of time to resolve itself. Also, I'm a little bit time restrained today, so I think we might just call it there. But I think we've been very successful. So we first of all welcomed Gianluca Busio to the team. What a player. Then our new wonder kid on the right wing, Anan. He'll be fantastic. Arnie Mayer will be a nice backup option for us and definitely improved on the centre mid from last season. Interested to find out how Tommy Doyle progresses, particularly when English clubs realise they can get an English player from France, then his value might skyrocket. Azizi Kubu is our new striker. Hope for that 15 finishing, 13 composure and 16 pace will get plenty of goals. And then the pièce de résistance, Koba coming in. He's probably our best signing. Akim obviously to be a backup on the right back position. And I think Koulibaly actually could end up being quite an astute signing for us. So all in all, we've done pretty well. And I think our start to the season is fairly kind. I reckon from those first five games, we could get three wins and that would be absolutely phenomenal and maybe start a charge to Europe next season.